the still water, lush green trees, and easy walkable paths. Colliery Dam Park is easily one of Nanaimo's favorite recreational spots year round. And the fate of the area has been the heart of controversy over the past several months. And on May 13th, Nanaimo City Council passed the motion for immediate removal of the lower and middle dams. And that has some people saying that this area is going to change. And losing the park for an indefinite period of time is not the solution we were looking for. So it's, it is terribly disappointing that Council wouldn't have heard that and, um, and look to uh, making this happen properly. The problem is, is that um, it's, it's dangerous with the, the dams the way they are right now. And the highest obligation we all have as councillors is to protect the public safety. But not all councillors feel the same way. For Jim Kipp, one of four councillors that voted against the motion, feel that there are other situations around Nanaimo that have more risk than the colliery dams, and more studies should be done before any removal happens. And instead of tearing this out right now without a plan to rebuild, without a plan what to do with what we find in here, without a real solid plan, just some, some numbers, without draining the dangerous dam and looking at it first and reducing some of the risk, we can mitigate. We can fix that dam first and leave this for the public. Removal of both dams will begin in July, following guidelines set out by Department of Fisheries and Oceans to protect fish. Then throughout the summer and into spring 2014, city staff will begin the design and approval process. And once that design and approval process is complete, they want construction to begin next summer. At the end of the rebuilding process, we will have two dams, a wonderful trail system that really does make Colliery Dam stand out among others. And um, unfortunately the community will be inconvenienced for that period of time, but at the end of the process we're going to have a safe dam, a dam that's safe for everyone, and a whole community downstream that isn't having to live in risk any longer. As for Councillor Kipp, it's not over. He's going to continue to fight the decision. So I am still pursuing the um, dam safety branch and pursuing emerging management BC because we have done stuff. We've done exercises, we've done some planning. Maybe not as much as I want all the time. The demand more you get more, but in that said, we can take some time to make real important community decisions. It seems like the decision was made, but you always hope that sometimes <laughs> these things can be re-looked at. I think mean, you only have to look at this place this is like, this is what would be the blackest mark for Nanaimo, to lose something like this. Jeff Solomon says he hopes common sense prevails and that this decision will be reversed. But according to City Council, the decision has been made. In Nanaimo, I'm Jocelyn Matwee.